This morning, Governor Andrew Cuomo addressed the executive budget for the 2022 fiscal year. New York is looking at a $15 billion budget gap from COVID-19 related expenses, including a loss in sales tax revenue. Governor Cuomo said he wants to legalize recreational marijuana and online sports betting to increase tax revenue. However, he said they would not be up, not be enough to make up for the budget shortfall. Governor Cuomo said New York has been funding other states and paying federal tax dollars to subsidize those lower rates and cost of living. And the IRS is in need of your favors. File your taxes online. The agency is still facing a backlog of nearly 7 million unprocessed paper returns from last year. The delay means people won't see their tax credits until March, though the IRS will pay you between 3 and 5 percent interest. But it does expect 9 out of 10 e-filers to get their refund within three weeks. And there is a new scam to warn you about. Some people are reporting that they have received a text message to access their stimulus check benefits. The message tells you to click on a link, but if you do so, it lets scammers download malware onto your phone. The Better Business Bureau also has a warning about a stimulus check scam. Basically, they send you a fraudulent check, the scammers do, and you think it's real because it looks real, and you um, actually take it to the bank and cash it, and then a couple days later, they're following up with you to tell you that they have paid you more than you're supposed to get, and you need to send them this money back. The Treasury Department is also warning you to watch out for emails or phone calls of someone pretending to be the IRS. They say if someone tries to get you to pay a fee, that is a big red flag. And how lucky are you feeling? The excitement continues to build as the Mega Millions jackpot keeps growing. Now in rarefied territory, an estimated $865 million jackpot is being offered. The second largest jackpot in the game's history and the third largest prize in American lottery history. You can watch the drawing tonight at 11 right here on 18 News. And Wall Street opened up earlier this morning ahead of Joe Biden's inauguration and a flood of earnings report this week. The market is coming off their worst week since October with the Dow falling about 1% and the NASDAQ and S&P 500 both down 1.5%. Some market watchers are eyeing up the inauguration this week and if it goes as planned, they are also looking to see if Senate Republicans will be willing to cooperate with Biden's agenda. That's what's happening on Wall Street. Let's take a look at your local stocks.